The gravimetric method is a laboratory and field method for determining percent soil moisture. Soil moisture is expressed as a ratio of the mass of water present to the dry weight of the soil sample. The gravimetric method involves taking a measured sample of soil, weighing the sample, removing the water, and re-weighing the sample in order to determine the ratio or percentage of water upon sampling time. Many variables must be acknowledged when performing soil moisture methods such as time of day, soil type, and vegetative cover. Due to the inherent variability of soil, soil moisture determinations should be taken as a series of measurements and averaged for an area. It is also necessary to decide site-centric measuring strategies. For example, one might decide to sample only under specific vegetation or bare ground at specific depths. Upon arriving at the sampling frequency and strategy for the soil moisture field site, the procedure is basic and the experienced sampler can extract multiple samples in a short period of time, which will be demonstrated in the upcoming slides. The gravimetric method typically requires seven basic items, a scale, airtight containers for the soil samples, a trowel, tape, a GPS, data sheets, and a desiccator. The desiccator can be created in any basic laboratory with a large beaker, desiccant, parafilm, and a thermometer. This list can be supplemented or changed upon a greater familiarity with the gravimetric method. Standard data sheets are available on the EcoHydrology page through WebCT. After all materials are collected, basic preparation is needed in order to organize and properly label the soil containers. Tape should be utilized to label the tear weight, the field weight, and the dry weight. All tape should be added to the container before the tear weight is calculated, as this additional mass could affect the final water content percentage. The tear weights of all samples should be written on the provided data sheets before the field visit. A representative sampling point should be chosen within the pre-established sampling site. Soil texture, the soil matrix, vegetative cover, slope, and aspect should all be considered before a representative sampling point or plot is chosen. Upon selection of the sampling point, the field area should be properly marked if multiple soil samples will be taken. A GPS point should be taken at each site and properly inputted onto the data sheets to enable future replication. Furthermore, the notes section of the data sheet should include all site specific attributes such as vegetation, soil texture, slope, aspect, and generalized weather data such as temperature, cloud cover, and time of previous rainfall. Use a clean trowel to remove approximately 100 grams of soil at the pre-established sampling depth. Remove and replace any part of the 100 gram sample if it is unrepresentative of the soil matrix in the area. In this sample, the rock to the left of the trowel is obviously non-representative of the soil at this site and could greatly affect the final soil moisture percentage. Immediately close the lid to the container and return to the laboratory for the final analysis. If the soil containers are not completely airtight, quickly place the sample in an airtight container, such as a Ziploc bag, to prevent soil moisture loss. Samples should be weighed as soon as possible after the site visit as to limit any moisture loss within the samples. 
Ensure that both the soil container and the data sheets are properly labeled. Place the samples in a preheated oven of 105 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Depending on the initial soil moisture, the rate may be reduced. A microwave may be used for a rough soil moisture estimate. However, microwaves will oxidize organic matter leading to a weighted soil moisture bias. Carefully remove the dried samples. Place them in a desiccator and allow to cool to room temperature before weighing the dried samples. If a desiccator is not available, one may be quickly created with a beaker, desiccant, parafilm, and a thermometer. First, place several centimeters of desiccant in the beaker, then Place the dried soil sample inside, cover and seal with the parafilm, and finally, carefully place a thermometer through the parafilm. When the sample is at room temperature, remove from the desiccator and weigh the sample for the final time. Once again, ensure that the soil container and the data sheet is properly labeled. Final calculation can easily be performed on the data sheet with the soil moisture determination equation. In this case, the weight of soil plus the container is 139 grams. The weight of the container is 49 grams. And the weight of the dried soil plus the container is 104.2 grams. So, the numerator, or the weight of soil in container, minus the container weight would be 139 grams minus 49 grams. And the denominator, or the weight of the dried soil in the container, minus the container weight, would be 104.2 grams minus 49 grams. This should then be subtracted by 1 and multiplied by 100, giving a final percentage of 61.9 or 62%.